Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you one of my family's favorite recipes. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. And today what I'm going to show you is how I make my lasagna. I'm using my homemade sauce. So I have my sauce on the stove on simmer. I have a pot of boiling water that once it starts to fully boil, I'll add some salt to it. I have two pounds of lasagna noodles. To the lasagna noodles, I'll also be using 32 ounces or 8 cups of mozzarella cheese and 32 ounces of ricotta cheese. I'll be mixing these two together and then spreading it on the noodles and oh my god, this lasagna is super duper delicious, especially with my homemade sauce. I'll add in a little bit of kosher salt. Only place in a couple of noodles at a time. You don't want to really kind of overcrowd the pot. And I'll cook them a little bit al dente because they'll be baking the rest of the way in the oven. I have my oven set on 350. So I put six noodles in. In the meantime, I'll stir my sauce. See how nice and thick that is? I love canning my own spaghetti sauce. It's all natural. While I'm waiting for my noodles and my sauce is simmering, I'll cut open the package of mozzarella cheese. Place almost all of it in, except for probably about a cup. I'll sprinkle the last cup of mozzarella cheese on top of my noodles. I'll open up my ricotta cheese. And start mixing it in with my mozzarella cheese. I'll check on my noodles. Oh yeah, perfect. Place some more noodles in. Take my noodles over to the table here. I'll turn my sauce off. Bring it over to my cutting board. It really smells good. What I like to do is start with the tomato sauce on the bottom. Just spread it around. So what I like to start out with is a layer of sauce. Then I put a layer of my noodles. I'll sprinkle in the mozzarella cheese that I have mixed with the ricotta cheese. And 
then I'll just add a little bit more ricotta cheese. The cheesier the better. Now I'll take another set of noodles and go in the opposite direction. And then I cut the noodle to fit the pan. It really smells good. So I have my oven preheating at 350. I like to keep it in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the, all the noodles are really nice and soft and the cheese is all melted. But remember, ovens vary, so just keep an eye on it. because everything is basically already pre-cooked. Now I'll put a layer of sauce. Spread it around. This sauce is so nice and thick. I want to make sure I get the edges of the noodles because I don't like the hard crispy noodles. Now I'll add some more cheese. I like to just put like one layer of ricotta by itself. I mean, you can make it however you prefer. all the cheese. Now I'll take some noodles and go in the opposite direction. I'll cut that to fit. So I mean making this lasagna is almost like putting a puzzle together. Oh yeah, looks really good. Now I'll take another layer of noodles, go across,
I'll add some noodles to my boiling water. My noodles are ready to come out. Now I'll, this is the last layer of the cheese, so now I'll place it on top. Then I'll place the last noodles on top. Now I'll place a layer of sauce, and this is where you want to make sure that the edges of all your noodles are covered well. I just don't like crunchy noodles. So let me spread that around. There. Making sure the sauce falls right down into all the cracks. Mozzarella cheese that we had set aside, that'll be the topping on top of this sauce. Then I'll put some aluminum foil. And like I said, bake it for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But remember, ovens vary. Because the noodles are already pre-cooked, I already cooked my sauce. So you just want the cheese to melt and the rest of the noodles to cook all the way through. Because I had my noodles kind of al dente. This cheesy lasagna, oh my God, it, it really smells good. Doesn't that look good? So now I'll place some aluminum foil on top and place it in my oven. So now I'll check on my lasagna. Mm -mm. Boy, does it smell good. Wow. Is that nice and cheesy or what? Look at how good that looks. Look at how nice and cheesy that is. Mm, 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 perfect. So now I'll cut a little piece. I just want to sample it. Try to get it out easily.
Wow, was that cheesy? Mm -mm -mm. So now I'll try a little bite. Mm, perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Really, really good. Deserves a second bite. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, is this good. Mm -mm -mm. Really yummy. Thanks so much for watching me make my lasagna. It's super duper delicious. Enjoy. Thanks so much for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl and watching me make one of my family's favorite recipes. Give it a try. Please follow me on YouTube on the Princess 2847, Twitter on the Home Cooking with C, Instagram on the Princess 2847. Please like me on Facebook on the Cheryl's Home Cooking. Follow me on Pinterest on the Cheryl KFL, and especially iFood.tv on the Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.